every day cyber attackers are trying to lay siege to organizations. Defending those organizations takes a layered strategy that not only fortifies virtual walls, but makes penetrating those walls and navigating within a challenge on multiple levels. I'm talking about defense in depth. Hi, I'm Chris, and in this video, we're going to peel back the layers of defense in depth. Defense in depth is a concept used in information security in which multiple security controls are placed throughout an information technology system. Its intent is to provide redundancy in the event a security control fails or a vulnerability is exploited that can cover aspects of personal, procedural, technical, and physical security for the duration of the system's life cycle. When you think of those fortified walls, what comes to mind? How about a castle? That's an appropriate analogy for defense in depth because castles are designed to protect what's inside with defenses designed to block attacks as well as slow them down. Castles were designed with layers of defenses to block defenders, uh, create barricades to ingress, and significantly slow down intrusions. They were designed with defense in depth. Castle defenses are designed to thwart intrusion in every way imaginable. They have moats encircling them filled with deep water, uh, solid, tall, virtually impenetrable walls with parapets, battlements, as well as other architectural designs, allowing defenders to repel and reciprocate attacks. And usually, just a single point of entry over the drawbridge and through the gate, which itself was heavily fortified. Cybersecurity employs the same defense in depth strategy, appropriately known as the castle approach. We're trying to put up barriers to block attackers, uh, impede their intrusion, and slow down their movement. Just like a castle, there are a host of physical obstacles. External doors with key card access, uh, possibly a security guard in the lobby, and security cameras in the lobbies and hallways. But in the digital domain, instead of a moat and a gate, we've got firewalls. A VPN to allow authorized special access through a monitored tunnel. The inner wall and locked doors are zones accessible only to those with permissions. Instead of turrets and battlements, we've got intrusion prevention and intrusion protection systems. Endpoint Detection and Response, or EDR, is your suit of armor and weapons. Also, just like castle rules that only allow people in certain areas, we've got policies governing where users can go. So now that you've got an idea of what defense in depth is, why is it so important? Defense in depth helps you ensure you are protecting your systems as effectively as possible. It forces you to account for clever attackers who circumvent an area of your defenses with additional layers of protection. By building in layers of security, you can reduce the chance of a single point of failure occurring in your systems. How do modern organizations build those layers of security? Start with the location of the most important, valuable, and essential data and assets. Around that location, design multiple overlapping layers of security. Each layer should provide some aspect of deterrence, denial, detection, and delay. This strategy should be appropriate for the value of the data being protected. To manage and protect that data, defense in depth architectures use controls that are designed to protect the administrative, technical, and physical components of your systems. Administrative controls include those procedures and policies that restrict permissions and access. They can also guide users on how to maintain security. Technical controls are those digital walls of specialized software and hardware such as antivirus and firewall solutions, to protect system resources. Physical controls are the actual physical infrastructure for protecting systems, such as locked doors and security cameras. Okay, so now you know the building blocks of a layered defense and depth strategy. How do you get there? How do you put it together? Creating an effective defense and depth strategy takes significant time and resources. To ensure you get the most from your efforts, make sure you do the following. Know your environment. To effectively secure your systems, you need to know where all your assets are and their priority levels. This includes files, applications, and users. Also, understand where vulnerabilities are and how attackers can exploit those issues. Prioritize and isolate your data. Limit where high priority information is stored and who has access to it. Reduce entry points to data, allowing you to focus your security efforts. There are multiple types of firewalls you can use. Employ where appropriate. Using firewalls both inside and outside your network allows you to prevent lateral attacks and enables system isolation. Implement endpoint protection platforms to secure endpoints and restrict access to systems. 
these platforms often contain detection and response technology that can help speed response times, letting you detect incidents in real time. Implement an Incident Response Plan, or IRP. This can help you identify vulnerabilities in your systems, plan protective measures, and speed those incident response times. IRPs detail who is responsible for managing incidents and how they should respond. Now, Defense in Depth does come with its challenges. Those layers of security can build quite an extensive and complex digital castle. Within your environment, you can have tens to hundreds of singular security solutions. This is where a SIM, or Security Information and Event Management Solution, can be crucial. That's because a SIM gives you visibility across all of your tools and solutions. And SIMs become even more when they feed data into a behavior analytics engine like Exabeam. What is behavior analytics? User and Entity Behavior Analytics, or UEBA, can help you monitor your system and users, as well as detect incidents that are missed by traditional tools. UEBA uses behavioral baselines to identify anomalous behavior in your environment. A perfect example of this is identifying attackers using compromised credentials and performing lateral movement through your organization, infiltrating your castle. User analytics enhances your defense in depth strategy. I hope this video has helped you understand the defense in depth cybersecurity strategy. Defend your castle, defend your data. For more videos like this, check out Exabeam's YouTube channel. And if you're looking for a cybersecurity solution with powerful new technology for threat detection, investigation, and response, and you want to see Exabeam in action, go to exabeam.com and request a demo.